بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم والصلاة والسلام على رسول الله وعلى أهل بيته الطيبين الطاهرين The power of Salat Allah We've seen it, my dear brothers and sisters in the first episode on this very important topic how the Holy Prophet and the glorious Quran emphasize on the importance of establishing Salat Allah Now in this episode, I would like us to look at some of the benefits of Salat Allah and how you approach Salatullah. Remember, my dear brothers and sisters, it is your moment, it is my moment to communicate with our beloved and merciful Lord. It is a moment to connect with the source of mercy, with the source of benediction, with the source of blessing, with the source of sustenance. It is a moment to obtain tranquil soul, peace of mind. And so therefore, Ahlul Bayt, Alayhimu salatu was salam on numerous occasions elaborated on the benefits of Salatul Layl. Number one, my dear brothers and sisters, Salatul Layl makes a person shine. In other words, you become good looking when you offer Salatul Layl. It's as per the traditions of Ahlul Bayt. Your face will shine. Number two benefit of Salatul Layl, when you try your level best to offer, it brings to you sustainer, rizq of Allah. There will be way out. There will be opening in your life. Number three, benefit of Salat Allah. Allah Tabaraka wa Ta'ala will be pleased with you and your status in the sight of Allah will be elevated. What are you waiting for? My dear brothers and sisters, we learned this from Sayyidah Zainab alayhi salam in Karbala and those beloved and dedicated companions of Abba Abdullah on the eve of Ashura in the darkness of the night, in the holy land of Karbala, each and every one of them engrossed in Salat Allah. They engrossed in communications with Allah, Tabaraka wa Ta'ala. So the third benefit, Allah will elevate your status. You become more cherished and loved by Allah, Tabaraka wa Ta'ala. Now guess, what's the fourth benefit of Salat Allah? As for the traditions of Ahl al the sins you commit during the day, are forgiven by Allah. So long as you are able to wake up and stand on your feet and call on Allah in the darkness of the night, those sons are forgiven. What an opportunity. We should not allow, my dear brothers and sisters, this opportunity to slip. Number five, a benefit of Salat al from the traditions of the Holy Prophet and Ahl al-Bayt is Husn al-Khatima. Anyone who keeps offering Salat al will be granted good ending. We all desire to have good ending we want our ending in this world to be amazing not only in the sight of people but more importantly in the sight of allah i want to depart from this world why allah is pleased with me and then the next benefit of salat al-layl from the traditions of al al is that doors of rahma will be open for you now how do you approach salat al-layl it's easier said than done, isn't it? As per the tradition of Amir al muminin alayhi salam. Try, my dear brothers and sisters, as much as you can, not to go to bed with stomach or tummy filled with food. Otherwise, you'll be heavy and you'll not be able to wake up. Number two, prepare for Salat al-Layl during the day. Have tradition like that. As Allah will always say, I used to look after myself during the day. And as a result, I benefited more in the darkness of the night. So how you go about your life during the day, especially in trying to establish a relationship with Allah, will determine whether one is able to wake up in the darkness of the night. And last but certainly not the least, before you go to bed, recitation, the last verse of chapter Hashem, it also helps one to wake up. Let us try it, my dear brothers and sisters. Salat al is sweet. It has a taste. And if you taste it, you will go back to it. It's a moment for you and Allah and no one. What are we waiting for? Start small and slow. By the time we realize, you'll be there. Assalamu alaikum.